Hello my dear friends of electronics. In this video we want to show you how a current sharing can be done with two different DC-DC controller. Because of this reason I invite Ralph. Hello Ralph. Hello. Because Ralph he did made a demo board and uh, we have here two different DC-DC, so the same DC-DC converter which is making a current sharing to double the output current. Correct. But how is it possible to have a good timing for that? Because Normally, I would say you need an excellent timing for, for this sharing. Mm -hmm. So, on, on this reference design, we see two magic power modules. Each has 2.5 ampere. Together, uh, the outputs are connected, they generate 5 ampere. Of course, we need a clock uh, to, to drive the power modules. And also, we have a clock which can drive them in 180 degree phase shift. Okay. So, they have a precise clock and um, then they generate the 5 ampere precisely. I am a little bit scared because when I heard external clock mm -hmm. in terms of EMC or EMI, it's always a little problem. So are you sure that is a good intention? It seems to be a problem and we found a good solution with a very simple uh, clock generator which doesn't affect the EMI. Okay. So we proved it by testing. Okay. How is that made? So if we look at uh, the board here, we placed in the middle a few components which generate the clock. Mm -hmm. uh, we start with a linear regulator which uh, is supplied by the input voltage of up to 50 or even 60 volts. Generates 5 volt for a timer and the timer generates the clock. Uh, and um, the output is then um, transferred by a Schmidt trigger in 180 degree phase shift. So we have two signals which we can supply to each uh, power module. I'm curious how is affecting that is synchronous or non-synchronous the ripple current. Then let's have a look on the board. So let me see how it looks when I put that output. Okay, what you see here is the output ripple of the shared um, current yeah. at the last output capacitor. Yes. We are about 10 millivolts of ripple. Okay. And now we are in 100 we are not in 180 degree phase shift, we are driving synchronously both power modules. Okay. And now let me change... Can I switch off or...? The, no, you matter. don't need to. Let me change the clock to phase shift at 180 degree. And you wow. see the ripple of each channel is eliminating the each other. And we, we have basically no ripple at the output anymore, just the noise. So this is excellent. Lower. Better thermal dissipation because you split it on two components. Correct. By having two hotspots, it's easier to spread the heat on the board. Also for load change is advantage, I guess. If we have two uh, power modules which share the current, the load transient response is much faster. Okay. And for EMI, we have also an improvement because we did, we did take care that we are decoupled them with our input filter, which is in terms from conducted emission excellent solution. Yeah, so the filters are here on yep. each uh, input side of the board and uh, distribute the filtering in an optimum way. Great. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Thank you so much, Ralph. So You're I welcome. hope you enjoy it and please watch my next videos. Bye. Goodbye.